How's it going, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale action figure review. This one has just come in just today uh, from Amazon.com.au, Emperor Palpatine with his awesome chair. Um, this I'm beyond excited. I got to see this firsthand at Star Wars Celebration back in Chicago. Um, and I've just been hanging out for this figure to come. I was expecting it a little bit later in the year, to be honest. Um, but for some for somehow Amazon Australia got him got him now. So I'm seeing a lot of other Aussies pick this thing up, um, and it's it looks great. Um, so we've got the art on the front by Gregory Titus. Uh, looks great as always. That's quite a thick box. Um, a bit of a bio on the back says scheming, powerful, and evil to the core. Darth Sidious restored the Sith and destroyed the Jedi Order. He slowly manipulated the political system of the Galactic Republic until he was named Supreme Chancellor and eventually Emperor, ruling the galaxy through fear and tyranny. So, looks pretty awesome. I'm going to open it up and I'll be back. Five minutes later. All right, and here is the Emperor in all his wrinkly old Sithy goodness. Man, I've, I've got to say, I, I've thought this was a goer for a long time, ever since they released that Snoke set with the throne. Um, it was a no-brainer to revisit Palpatine. Um, and this is, it's the payoff's absolutely worth the wait. Um, it looks really great. This is going to be, the, this is the centerpiece of my uh, Empire shelf now for my six inch black series. Really excited to put it on display with the rest. Um, I may even have to get a couple more Royal Guards, but I've got two, so that's probably okay. One one to flank each side. Um, so we'll get a look at the figure afterwards, briefly. We'll have a look at his his awesome swivel chair. That looks nice. It's uh, got the base there. It does allow some swiveling, swiveling action, which is good. We've got these little controls. Looks nice. These little random items up the top. And uh, this is actually like a softer, softer, almost rubber. This, this, uh, the fabric part of the chair, I guess, which is quite nice. It's, it's a little bit firmer. The soft, it's a hard rubber, I'd say. It's still got a bit of give. You can see the emperor's bum groove is there. He's been sitting, <laughs> he's been spending a lot of time sitting in this chair watching Netflix and stuff, <laughs> eating chips. Calling for, I don't know, extermination of civilization. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Um, so onto the Emperor. We'll just uh, stand him up. So obviously the thing that differs with this one is that he no longer has the plastic bottom part of his robe. He's been replaced by soft goods. Um, that aside, I think that's the entire change of the figure, except for the three three separate head sculpts. Um, we did get three head sculpts, which is awesome. Uh, his cane. I'm just going to lean him there. Comes with his cane again. We saw that with the initial release. Back in the blue line of the Black Series, so back in 2014. Hard to believe that was five years ago. Really hard to believe. <laughs> And we've got some swap out hands with some lightning, which is just epic. It's so good. Get two of them. And I'll, uh, I'll have a go shortly at swapping them out and seeing how he looks. Because they, they are fantastic. Awesome additions. Really, really worthy. Alright, so let's have a look at his head sculpt. So here's one. Let's bring that light down a little bit. There we go. Sort of almost chuckling smile. Really great lightness. Looks good. Of 
That looks great. We have his pretty pissed off looking face. <laughs> Which looks great. It really does. Yeah, there we go. That looks fantastic. And then we've just got this sort of stoic looking had a bad day Palpatine face. Which is great also. It looks good with the hood over it. Alright, let's have a look at these hands. So, I'm not sure whether they're, they're different. It pops out reasonably easily. And it's nice and nice and strong, so it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a battle. There we go. Yes. I love that they kept the hinge in the wrist to allow for a bit of movement. If you painted this up, you kind of look like the uh, that old guy who grew his fingernails out really long quite a few years ago. <laughs> you just paint that all flesh colored, that'd look funny. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people who are slightly disappointed the fact that he doesn't come with his lightsaber. Um, yeah, it would have been a cool addition, but they're going for Return of the Jedi Emperor here. But they did include Yoda's lightsaber with him when he's clearly an original trilogy Dagobah Yoda. So, wouldn't have been a terrible addition. Um, wouldn't have been a terrible addition at all. And uh, for the most part, you could probably just swap the robes over and you could have a pretty close to Revenge of the Sith Emperor as well. Particularly with, with Angry Head. Fighting Yoda would be would have been awesome, but yeah, that looks great. That looks really good. I'm thrilled. I'm really, really thrilled with this figure. So we'll go through articulation. I'm going to leave his lightning fingers there. So he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists on both these and the regular hand. Uh, ball. Uh, ball joint of the torso there. Uh, he'd have ball hinged hips. I'm sure he has ball hinged thighs, double jointed knees, and ball hinged ankles as well. So, all the same articulation as the original. He just can move a whole lot more, which is great. Um, there were some great people out there doing custom um, custom robes for the Palpatine uh, for the original one, and people were able to cut it down. Um, get rid of the plastic ones and put new soft material robes over the top and they were fantastic um, A lot of people went into 3d printing with the, with the chair um, Again fantastic work uh, they, There were some really standout jobs out there, but it's great that Hasbro have gone and gone and put this out there um, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys Let me know what you think in the comments below and until my next video may the force be with you always